Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my son online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is a clean environment floating and sinking and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we need to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and rub inside around in between on our wrists and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing recycle, possessive pronouns and money. Now, boys and girls, let us go to our lesson on page 12. On page 12, we are going to be talking about recycling. Now, it's going to be our job to color each item. And then after that, we draw a line to match the correct bin. Now, there are three bins that we have been given there. The first one says paper. Paper. That means that anything that is paper can go into that bin and be recycled to be used as something else. The next one says plastic and glass. Plastic and glass. Now that means that anything that is made with plastic or glass can go into that bin and then it will be recycled to become something else. The last one that we can see says aluminium. Aluminium. Now, that is a special type of material that is used for other items, such as our soda bottles or our cool drink bottles. So, it's going to be your job to draw a line from anything that is made with paper and then anything that is made with plastic or glass and then the last thing anything that is made with aluminium when you're done with that boys and girls you are going to write two sentences about how to keep the environment or your classroom clean now, I have two sentences here on the board with me. I'd like us to take a look at them because they have our vocabulary words for this week. Now, the first one says, sweep the floor. Now, that's very true. Anyone can sweep the floor. We can sweep the floor to keep it nice and clean. Now, imagine if we kept all our sweet wrappers and anything that was not meant to be on the floor just there. We would be making our environment very, very dirty. So, sweeping the floor helps clean our environment. Then, the next one says, pick up 
litter. Now, when we pick up litter, boys and girls, that means we are taking away any of the rubbish that fell on the floor. For example, papers that we don't need. Maybe it is a sweet wrapper. Maybe it is food that fell by mistake. So all of that needs to be picked up and put into the bin because they have now become litter. So have fun with that one. Take your time, boys and girls, and make sure that when you color, you color inside the lines. When you're done with that page, you can move on to the next one, page 14. Oh, 13. <laughs> 13, yes. On page 13, we are going to be continuing, but this time we are going to move on to English and we are going to be talking about our possessions. It's going to be our job to choose the correct answer from the word box below. We have the words my, his, her, it's, our, your, there. Well done. Now remember boys and girls, when we use the words that are in the word box, we need to first look at the word at the beginning of the sentence. That one is the clue on which one we should be able to use. Let's put our finger on number four. It is saying, she's fixing dash sink. She's fixing dash sink. Now when we talk about she's, it's usually a, yes, it's usually a girl. So we say her. Let's try and put her in the sentence. She's fixing her sink. Well done, good job. Let's do the number seven. Number seven says, he's reading dash email. He's reading dash email. So that means that if it is a he, we are talking about a male character. And that means we use the word his. Let's now try and put his in the sentence. He's fix reading his email. <laughs> well done, it sounds correct. So we use his whenever we see he. If you look carefully below, we have another activity to do with the same kind of words. I want us to please take a look at the word cross puzzle. Now, boys and girls, this one is quite simple, but I want to show you how we can get the answers. For number one, two, and three, they have given you clues. Now, it's going to be your job to put in the correct word so that you can also fill in the crossword puzzle. Number one says, I'm painting dash apartment. And we can see that in the crossword puzzle, we have the word my for the word going across for number one. Let's take a look at how they have done that. So, we know that going across means from one space to another, starting from the left to the right. So, if we are going to put the word my for number one, then that means we look for one and we write the word going across. That is how we use our crossword puzzle. So the word my is going across and is put in two different boxes. M, -y, my. Now let's see if we can get for number two and for number three. 
Number two, the clue says, you're doing dash exercises. You're doing dash exercises. Now remember, the number two says it's going down. So the word we are looking for already has a Y, which means that it is the word your. There we have it on the board and now we need to fill it in so that it can become correct. We have our, our Y already so we don't need to put it again. Then we have an O, our U and our R. Now we have put the word your going down for number two. Then the last one, the clue is a cross. Number three says, we're fixing dash TV. We're fixing dash TV. Now, apart from that one, we have also been given the first letter, which is an O. So the only word that starts with O in our word box in our exercise is the word our. So go ahead and write the word our for number three going across. Good job. Now we are done with the first part. The rest of this word cross puzzle you will do by yourselves. Read the sentence, fill it in in your book and then write the word in the crossword puzzle. Have fun with both exercises, boys and girls, and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now, boys and girls, let us go to the last part of our exercise today on page 14. On page 14, we are going to be talking about money. Now today, we have a special job to color two different coins, two different colors. The first coin that you're going to see is the $1 coin. Now the $1 coin today is going to be colored in brown. So it's going to be your job to find all the $1 coins and color them brown. Then you're going to color the next coin that appears there, $5 coin. You're going to color that coin yellow. So the $1 coins are brown and the $5 coins are yellow. Please try and color inside the pictures. Now, after that, you have another special job to draw the coins. So the first coin you have to draw is the $1 coin. Then you are going to draw one $5 coin. So let's take a look at what we need to do again before we start. Let's take a look at what I have in my hand. So the coin I have in my hand is the one dollar coin. This is the one that you're going to color brown. When you're done coloring all the one dollar coins that are there brown, you're going to draw only one of them. So one of them will be drawn and don't forget to put the Namibian dollar sign and the one in the middle. The next one that you're going to color is the $5 coin. Now the $5 coin is going to be colored yellow. And when you're done coloring all the $5 coins, you are going to now draw one $5 coin. Don't forget your Namibian dollar sign and the number five. Take your time, boys and girls, have fun, and I will see you when you're done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list. 
for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson. But I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if something is too hard for you, you can always ask an adult for help. But please make sure that you try and finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done, it is time to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing our hands makes all the germs that might be on our hands go away. So let's sanitize so we can stay nice and healthy. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi said he would come and say hi to us today. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mir Cat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.